Hello and welcome to the Reddit recap for the month of January 2023 where I go over my subreddit and see all the best stuff that has been upvoted by my 103 members. Hopefully we see some good stuff. Was that a first try intro? Did I say 103? Fuck. No! If. Grand Theft Auto Online. A, it's somewhat been fixed now. It's funny they put forth the security updates and people debated like what exactly they did and how effective it's gonna be. And that kind of remains to be seen. Someone sent me a clip of some guy, maybe he was Spanish, and he claims to have spoken to some people at Rockstar. He asked them how you meant to play G2 Online securely. And they were like, you gotta play on PS5. And she's like, ah. Oh. But I mean, even if you play it on console, there's apparently like 800 God mode glitches and stuff that just ruins the game for everyone. So you can't win. Someone hung Matto and our school toilets. I almost don't wanna click this. <laughs> I don't know if it's funnier for a person who knows who I am or who doesn't know who I am. <laughs> I would not do this myself, of course, but I definitely see the humor in this. Very good. Gosh darn. Dark Five AU YouTube videos. Dark Five AU streams. Yeah, it does feel that way sometimes. YouTube truly sees the best of me and people in my live streams get to see all the messed up intros and t like the days where I'm feeling absolutely terrible but i want to stream because i enjoy streaming and so people got to put up with me being like guys i feel terrible and can someone just hit me with a brick please so we're gonna play some uh video games today <laughs> people aren't being introduced to me on youtube as i am right this moment so when i'm having a bad week or even a bad month often people on youtube don't even know i do very much so appreciate the people who still stick by me in those streams and will keep me company because it does make me feel a lot better i have people who come from youtube to my streams and then they see me feeling like shit, being down in the dumps and playing poorly. And they're probably like, oh, well, this is a letdown. Guess I'm going back to YouTube. And I'm just like, oh. There is being open and honest about how you're feeling. And then there's like dwelling on that feeling and potentially bringing other people down. Uh, and I definitely, at least within the last couple of weeks, did too much of that dwelling. I've had a bit of a hard time. Like I wasn't doing well before Charlie told the entire world that I thought reactors were running around date raping people, but it has not become easier after that. There is just these things that people say about me that are categorically not true, that every time I see them for a long time, it like was like stabbing a knife through my guts. It, it, they just built up over time and I just, became more and more uh, depressed about all that. Very recently, I got out of one of these dark moods. I'm looking at things differently now than I once did. Looking at the positives in my life rather than caring about these people who don't know me and have no desire to know who I am. I'm actively working to not care about things that don't really matter. And I'm moving beyond it. Xiaomi widescreen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thumbs up indeed, dude. I, I didn't know what to expect when you flipped it over the other way. Like, what do people say when they see your phone? Mum, it happened again. <laughs> Mum, get the camera, it happened again. Mum, get the camera, I'm in a dark web AU video. This is the last time. We're not doing like an infinite regress where every episode is gonna have this guy in a better recap. Here's my second attempt at making a dark web AU mod for Happy Wheels work in progress. It certainly does look like me. When Happy Wheels was a big thing, I wasn't making gaming content back then. That was that long ago. I've never actually played. So yeah, if, if this is actually a thing, I will, uh, I'll, I'll play it at some point. Matto deserves more recognition. Red Dead Online superfan with 6,000 hours on Stadia got a Rockstar gift bag as a goodbye present. I didn't know they were writing articles about me. Like, it's, it's kind of flattering for Games Radar to cover that. Uh, my gift bag's just off screen, guys. I, I agree, I do deserve more recognition for my superfan status of Red Dead Online. This is a huge achievement, guys. If Red Dead Redemption 2 released in 2018, he has spent an average of 7.1 hours every single day playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Mass was in my strong suit. Maybe double check that. It's more like four hours a day. Still pretty impressive. MILF Viper AU. Den's mother. Matter the MILF. I think this only bears a passing resemblance to me. It does have the main features, the blue eyes, brown hair, and of course, the tank top. Stud Matter. How did this get a thousand upvotes? Why am I missing two little bits of my my eyebrow? So Free Lyle took a screen grab of me when I was on the WAN show, and people were like, he's doing the Giga Chad pose. <laughs> Think only a passing resemblance, but this came to mind when uh when I saw this. Basically, this is all weird. But thank you. 
Unexpected Dark Viper EU reference in anti-meme. I would like one Big Mac, please. That would be $3.99, $702. I have seen people give that video of me explaining how I ended up spending $702 to a Big Mac to like randoms outside of people who watch my content. And they're like, who is this asshole who is just blaming everything and everyone else other than himself for having hit a car when he was at McDonald's? Oh yeah, we got the new uh, $702 Big Mac emote. Like I was joking. It was a funny story. Obviously there's no one to blame but myself. I should have been more careful. I shouldn't have got distracted. I still find the video funny. I don't care what randoms outside my community think. See, see, you know, good attitude. Watch out, Matto. If you encounter a cougar on the trail, we recommend the opposite of pss, 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 pss. I'll be real with you. The only reason I read this and the only reason it might end up in the Reddit recap is because I wanted to go pss, 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 pss. <laughs> People, whenever they see a cougar in any context on social media, they're like, Dark Viper EU subreddit. Flattering the people are thinking of me, but it is just a cougar, even though that one is really cute. Something's missing. You went to Fortress and Melbourne and took a picture of exactly where I was standing. That is like perfectly lined up as well. It's edited? Oh, of course it is. Because of all this smudging and stuff. I gave this person too much credit. I would never believe another thing I see on the internet for the rest of my life. It happens way too often. The game when my mum walks in. That is the second time that's happened, having that statue on that table. I wonder if they made it like intentionally to do that. I know it isn't much, but I suggested the effect of maxi map for chaos. Yeah, that was a cool idea. I don't think it's hit the official release yet. A lot of the chaos effects are still beta effects or just for the custom version that I have or some such. Am I right or am I 45 degrees? The state of Dark Viper memes for like four years now. Nah, it is true that within the last year, I would say, that I haven't done anything particularly meme-worthy or stuff that's been positive and usable in a variety of different situations, except maybe like that picture of me when I was at Melbourne and stuff. I am working on doing new stuff, but at the end of the day, there is core elements to what I create that's always gonna be the same, and so it will grow stale for some people. 2022 was a bad year for the Dark Viper AU Empire. I think we can all agree on that. I made a Matto table lamp in school. I hope he likes it. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. I look oddly wholesome there. <laughs> and I'm orange too. True. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for hanging out. There will, of course, be catch-up episodes where things that didn't get enough love the first time around will have another chance to be seen. So if you have some cool idea or some meme or whatever, feel free to post it in my subreddit. Or if you just want to join in on finding the best stuff, see the stuff before it gets into the episode, uh, join my subreddit. It's always nice to have more people. And yeah, thank you all for the support. And I wish you all the best.